It was a little notice in the newspaper that led me over 4,000 miles to Athens, Greece. For months, I'd been trying to pick up the trail of my ex-wife. She had disappeared. She and my son. I hadn't come for social reasons. This was all business, money business. My ex was worth a fortune. My plans were to get a nice fat chunk of the money. Have you anything to declare? No. First time I've been to Europe. Thank you. Have a nice vacation. Other boys love their fathers. Why can't you? He's not my father. Darling, he is trying to be. Jamie, you've never seen your real father. We were... We were divorced when you were only an infant. You divorced him, not me. If I could make you understand. This little boy is uh, an American. Jimmy Dimo ran away from home. I know. Jimmy Dimo. It's an odd name for an American. Boy's stepfather is a Greek. What's my room number? 23. Please don't forget the passport. Julia, the surprise is waiting for Jamie as soon as he's ready. We'll be out in a moment, Dio. It's in your room, Jimmy. Go ahead. Open the door. I 
want to talk to him a minute or two. Alone, please. It's all right. I'll be downstairs. Suppose I sit down and we talk a little. Why don't you look at me, Jamie? You are disappointed with my present? I'm sorry. You see, I thought a puppy could fill a lonely boy's heart. It did mine when I was your age. My parents moved here to this very house when I was a boy. And I was very lonely too. As a boy, I wanted a dog for a friend. So I bought you one. Jamie, it is bad to be lonely, I know. And it gets worse as you grow older. I was very lonely until I met your mother. And you know, I always wanted a family. A boy of my own. And there you were. I felt I was very lucky, Jamie. I want you to be my boy, and I want to be your father. Jamie, can't we even try to be friends? I have a friend. One of the boys at school? No, it's Pazzo. Pazzo? But don't friends have to be able to talk to each other? Poor Pazzo is dumb and backwards. How can you play with him? He understands me. I understand him. You just don't want me to have any friends. All you want is mommy. That's not so. Then why'd you go away with her and leave me alone? went on our honeymoon. You don't take children long on a honeymoon. Why not? If you really don't want your puppy, I'll take him back tomorrow. Take him! Take him! I don't want him! Mind if I turn off that American jazz? No, you're not going to let little Jamie make you anti-American, are you? I've uh, prepared this for Julian. You're not leaving. This house is as much yours as mine, Nella. No, dear. We decided that before you and Julia left. Now spinster in law belongs with a married couple. I've been wishing for something a long time. I'm wishing my real father will come back. I don't think so. Darling, he's not interested in us. I bet if he knew where I was, he'd be here. He may not even be alive. He is. Jamie, you don't even know what he looks like. Yes, I do. I have his picture. His picture? Here. 
He gave it to me to show my friends. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, darling, that's so faded. You, you, you can't see anything. Yes, I can. He's wearing a uniform. A pilot. Jamie. Don't you know, baby, that you just... You see, you want to see him so much that you imagine that you do. get excited. He doesn't understand everything. You heard him. You mean because he's your friend, you let him beat you up? He isn't bright like the other boys are me. Sorry. Does he go to your school too? No, he can't talk. He waits for me after school. Come on, Hatsa. Good guy, taking on the whole school by yourself, huh? They saw at me. Why? Because I'm new here. Hey, you an American? Yeah. My father's American, too. Well, what's your name? Jamie. James, yeah, an American name. What's your other name? Well, I gotta use the name Demo. My mom got married to a Greek. He wants me to use his name. I see. Well, what happened to your real father? He went away to war. He was a pilot, and he shot down 23 enemy planes. Then one day, he didn't come back. It was marked missing. I think he went to become a spy or something. Anyhow, I never found out, because my mother got a divorce. She took me away to Paris. She got married again. And now we're here. But my father will come and get me when he finds out where I am. Sure he will. Your father must have been a real war hero. I only just got my pilot wings. You a pilot? You know my father? Maybe. What does he look like? I got his picture. Here. Hmm. You know I might be able to help you? Only you just got to promise me something. Sure, mister. I'll promise. Good. Now, you mustn't tell anybody I'm going to help you. You understand? It's just got to be a secret between us. I promise. Fine. Now, the uh, first important question, how old are you? Eight. Today's my birthday. I see. I don't know if you're old enough to keep a secret. Oh, you're just kidding me. You don't know my father. You're just a tourist. Come on, Pazzo. Hold it. I'm not fooling. Your father and I were in the same outfit. His name is Jeff Faulkner. You do know him! I hope I'm not late. Not one of the boys has come. I saw a boy sitting outside in the rain. You think it was one of Jamie's friends? One of Jamie's friends? Let's try to make it a body anyway. You go light the candles. Well, I guess it's the only thing we can do. Jamie, get 
ready for the candles. You're going to have a party. Happy birthday, Jamie. Happy birthday. I heard you got a real American guitar from Aunt Nella. There were 23 boys in my class. Promised every one of them a present. They didn't believe me. Come on, darling, blow out the candles and make a big wish. husband do if he came. Might mean trouble. No one has to know. You can't keep such things a secret. Look, you're a grown-up. You must know what to do. Please, I want to see my father. What would your mother say? Please. Next time I see you, I'll tell you if your father's coming. Remember now. Our secret? Okay. My real father is alive, he is! And an American told me! Jamie, what are you talking about? I'm not allowed to say anything. It's a secret. If I tell you, the man won't bring my father. What's the man's name, darling? I don't know. But he knows my father's name. He told me. Jeff Faulkner. Go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep. I thought I'd find you here, Mr. Friendly. Oh, yeah, Mr. Friendly. <laughs> well, I used a different name so that you wouldn't know I was here, Julia. That's why you won the confidence of my child. I'm sure you didn't want me to walk up to your house and ring the bell and announce myself as the ex-husband who dropped in after eight years. What are you doing here? Oh, I come to Europe on business. Uh. I uh, heard you went back to your parents after our divorce. So when I was back home in Norfolk, I thought I'd look you up. Oh, but you'd taken off. No one knew where you were, not even your family lawyer. You know, I hired a New York detective agency to find you. Didn't your detective tell you that I'd also remarried? Well, do you think I'd come here if I knew that? Listen, you don't do anything unless you want something. I'm not the rich catch I once was. And as for Jamie, he is mine. Completely. And you just read those uh, divorce papers you sent me. Believe me. I don't want anything. I just came to see you and Jamie. When I found out that you were married, I tried to make myself anonymous. Anyway, is it so unnatural for me to want to see my own son? Look, I don't believe this sudden interest in Jamie. Go ahead, get it all off your chest. Look, you can't hate me any more than I hate myself for what I've done. I don't blame you. Oh. Hey, 
How did you find out I was here? This is the only hotel in the neighborhood. Well, you must have remembered me pretty well to describe me. And you are still a vain peacock. All I did was ask for the American. You know, the years haven't changed you at all. Can I see you once before I leave? Whatever you're up to is no. You found out about me from Jamie, didn't you? You think uh, he might know who I was if I were to accidentally bump into him again? He is a very curious boy. That's nine strikes, isn't it? Yeah, that's three outs. You didn't hit it once. Okay, you try it now. I see. I'm not an American, nor much of a batter. Am I? My other father was a big league player. But people here have other sports. Have you ever been sailing? In a boat? Yes. How would you like to go sailing? Try another sport. I like baseball. I tried baseball. You're not afraid to try sailing, are you? No. Good. We'll go Saturday. It's as much fun as baseball, eh? The wind has just fallen off. We'll be all right. Just as long as no storm is brewing. What happens if it storms? The boys I start throwing. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Maybe I am. You can help steer, okay? All right. It's fun sailing, isn't it? It takes time to learn things, Jamie. Like I am learning baseball. You sailing, and me being a father to a grown-up boy. You can never be my father. You know you haven't any other father. I hate you. From here on in, things are going to be my way or not at all. And what is your way? My way is setting my house in order. You're either my wife or not. I've done everything I could for your child. I want to do something now for a child of my own. You can't get along with a child. Jim is not my child. But he's a child. I want my own! I feel too old. Too old? Nonsense. Maybe your age is what made you marry me. Maybe you felt your looks were fading. Maybe you thought it was getting too late to find Jamie a home. Time was going by. You looked in the mirror one day. You're very mean and you're brutal. Life is mean and cruel. You think you're a wife? A gentle, loving wife. You're cold, detached, involved only in your own wants. Once and for all. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Listen to me. You never wanted Jamie. Whether I did or didn't, that's beside it all. I tried, and as for now, there is only one solution for him. Put him into a boarding school, and let's get on with our own lives. 
Don't you see, Julia? Your own life can't be a sacrifice to your past. You've got a future, too. You've got to do it now. Otherwise, you'll be too old for anything. So make up your mind, Julia. Jamie goes, or else. Julia, you leave this place. Give yourself a chance. Things will be the same for you as they used to be. Hey, let's start all over again in little old Norfolk. <laughs> little old Norfolk. Oh, that's far away. Isn't it funny? You know that I still think of that place with, with nostalgia. The magnolias and the white columns and the honeysuckle. And then I think of the people who infested. My parents, they are friends. Dead and stuffed. I used to think that to, to, to feel was, was a sin. Those white columns would be all yours, Julia. We can have our own friends. Jack, did you see my parents? Julia? They're both dead. down there to look for you, I found out about them. Julia, you know practically all of little old Norfolk belongs to you now? And maybe to you. That would make you come and look for me. Is that why you think I came out here? Anyway, even if I knew about the money, does that mean I don't want you? Oh, sure, you want me. Always for the same reasons. Money. Cat. You're making a big mistake. Listen, for the first time in my whole life, I'm trying to undo one. And if you don't leave, I'm going to tell Dean. Will you tell him everything? Jeff, it's going to do you no good to call here. I'm warning you to stop. I'm going to call the police if you call here again. Is my father coming? Is he? Take it easy. Doesn't he want to see me? Sure he does, but it's not that easy, like I told you. Your mother's married now, and he's not going to interfere between her and her new husband. But she doesn't even like Dio. You mean you don't like it, isn't that so? I hate him. He tore up my father's picture. I wish he were dead. Well, you certainly have the answer. If you weren't around, things would be easier. That means no doubt that your real father could come back immediately. I want to see him. So, do 
Studio is an architect at the Transaero building, huh? You told me your father has lunch way up on the girders. Most every day. You sure? Every time he goes up there, he takes his lunch with him. That's most every day. All right, now listen. You will be able to see your real father. Definitely you do one thing. But no one must know about it, you understand? Uh-huh. If anyone finds out about it, it'll spoil everything and you'll never see him. I won't tell anyone. Come on. into the thermos that Dio uses for his coffee. Can you do that? What is it? Look here now. You had to do it or you don't, no questions. And if someone should happen to see the bottom, you tell them you found it. You understand? Yes. Now put it away. Don't open it until you use it. When does uh, Dio come home? Tonight. He called Nelly. Good. Then you can do it tonight, after everyone's asleep. Okay? Okay. Remember, you do it, and you'll see your real father. Goodbye, now. Bye. Jamie. My goodness, you better hurry or you'll be late for school. Sit down. Jamie. Good morning. Good morning, dear. I heard you come in last night. How are you, Jamie? Fine, sir. Is Julia up yet? No. I wanted to talk to her. Come on, sit down and have some breakfast. Just a little coffee, please. Jamie! Stop your...
you daydreaming? What is it, Jimmy? I have got to get down early today. You want to take anything along? A coffee, sandwich? Well, I don't know. Yes, I guess I will. The usual? Please. Julia, I've returned. I may not see her, but I can leave a note. I have an appointment with the dentist. I'll drop you off. I'll wait for you in the car. Good. Bye, Jamie. Jamie, put the finish because I'm leaving. Jamie, what's the matter with you? I don't feel good. Oh, dear, I have an appointment and Eula is off today. I'll tell you I can't go. Good morning. Oh, Julia, I'm glad you're down. I can go now. <laughs> good morning and goodbye. I'll be back soon. Mom, I feel funny. Do you want to go to bed? No. Take medicine? I just want to sit here. All right, I'll tell you what. You rest. And when I get back from the bank, we'll get Dr. Pappas, okay? All right. Maybe I'll be better then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, sure that you will. Goodbye, darling.
συγχωρείτε. Μήπω είδε τον Τζέιμι τη μητέρα του. Ναι, η κυρία βγήκε. Και το παιδί έφυγε ύστερα από λίγα λεπτά. Ήταν ταραγμένο. Ανέφερε το όνομα του πατέρα του Ντίο και το μέγαρο τρανζαέρο. Το σκυλάκι του πέθανε. Φαντάζομαι θα ήθελε να το πει στον πατέρα του. Δεν ξέρει κανεί ποτέ τι να περιμένει από αυτά τα παιδιά. Χα, εμένα μου λε. Με συγχωρείτε, είμαι ταραγμένη εξαιτία του ανεψιού μου. Something happened, I know, but I don't understand the word you're saying. Oh, pardon me. I was just saying that I'm all upset about my nephew. Uh, his dog died and I don't know where he is. He should be at school, but the garden just mentioned the, the Transero building. The Transero building? That's where Jamie's father works. I think he tried to reach him by phone. But why am I telling you all this? Oh, well, I came to speak to Mrs. Demo. Well, she's not home. May I tell her who called? Oh, well, I wanted to surprise her. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't even mention that I called. Yes. Yes, of course. the poison it wasn't meant for him you meant it for Dio you want to kill him let me go hey, aren't you supposed to be in school huh if you don't let me go I'm gonna call a policeman yeah go ahead see there's one over there now you be sure to tell him everything how you poison your dog you know they'll hang you for being a murderer I'm not a murderer well you better keep away from the police did you do what I told you to do with the thermos hmm Well, we'll just wait until this afternoon, huh? But if you didn't do it, you don't have to try to reach him. If you did any drinks at night, no one will know what happened. You just get a little dizzy and fall off the girder. Remember now, you said you wanted to try to get rid of him, and I helped you. But you did it, didn't you? <laughs>
see me. When the chase is over, we're going to relax a while. I don't want to stay here. I want to go see my father. I am your father. I'm your real father. I'm the one you've always wanted. Now you're trying to run away from me. You're a gangster. You think I'd lie about a thing like that? Now keep your mouth shut. Είναι το κόστος αυτό το παιδί. Προσπαθούσα να φύγει με αυτό το μάρμαρο και δεν σταμάτησα όταν το φώναξα. Αναγκάστηκα να το φοβερίσω με το όχο. Να μην τα ξαναφέρετε εδώ αυτά τα παιδιά. Να τα πάτε στο ζωολογικό κήπο. Έχετε χρήματα. I don't speak Greek. Χρήματα. That's all I have. I lost the rest. Παλιόπεδα. Θέλετε να κάνετε βόλτα τζάμπα, ε. Let me alone. I had the money. I swear it. I swear it. Τι σημαίνει. Περιπίσου τα μωρά. Θέλανε βόλτα τζάμπα. Δεν τη βρίσκω τη βενζίνη μου. Εντάξει. You're an American, eh? You don't have to be afraid of me. You don't look like a bad boy. Tell me what happened. I had the money. I swear it. But I lost it. I believe you. But where were you going? I don't know. Now, one does not get into a cab and say no place to the driver. Sure you do. And if you don't tell me, the cab driver will. I was going to see my father. And where is he? He works. Where? The Transaero building. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie? Jamie what? Jamie Demo. Demo, right? And where do you live, Jamie? I don't know. Sure you do. I think you better come with me. Όχι, απλώ το πηγαίνω μέσα. Τελοφόνη. Όχι. Πάρε και εσύ. Δεκακή τέταρτο. 
Θα σε συναντήσει αργότερα στο πάρκο. Στο ίδιο μέρος.
Adam Vimu is on the phone. Hold it, Pete. I'll be right down. Jamie's run off. Theo, don't you hear me? Yes. I hear you. I'll come home. No, no. Stay there. Theo, I think he's coming to you. Here? To me? I spoke to the police. And they told me that a little boy answering to his name said he was going to see his father. His father? <laughs>
Relax. Relax. Slowly. Slowly. Flowers and for Pazzo, too. Dio sent them. Pazzo just wants my knife. I understand. Okay. If you want to. I think you were getting out of the hospital until tomorrow. I was anxious to get home to see you. And Jamie. Nella said I'd find you here. I guess I intruded. <laughs> 